Salutations all and welcome to Intro to Communications. I am your professor Christy Thomas and this is the video chat for our lesson slash assignment for week 10. Week 10 are the dates March 13th through the 19th. I like to say first, welcome back from spring break. I hope spring break was chill for you and you got a little rest or you got to just be calm amongst chaos and hopefully your house hold wasn't plagued with a lot of germs. It's been thick in my world, <laughs> as I'm sure everybody else has been dealing with the copious amounts of germs going around between flu, strep throat, virus after virus. Anyway, I hope you're well. Now, for this week, our lesson, remember we started interpersonal communication before we went to spring break. So we're still in the interpersonal communication world of the communications. This week's lesson is over enhancing relationships so there is a module labeled enhancing relationships you'll click on it there's a word document and powerpoint presentation uploaded from the publisher and i have a previously recorded video lesson discussing enhancing relationships just like always i like to put all the information out there now let's go ahead hold on i'm pulling it up on my computer the there's also a link for the assignment as always there's a word document in the assignment that pulls it up but i'm going to discuss the assignment here with you now this will be due at the end of the week. So what's the date again? By March 19th, by midnight, this assignment is due and here we go. So as always, I start off, I give little snippets, like quick reviews of what we went over in the lesson, what we learned through the lesson. I have included in this little review for the assignment, the five stages of escalation and the five stages of relational de-escalation. What do I mean by this? Again, remember when we're talking about relationships, we're not just including romantic relationships. This can be friendships, family, colleagues, peers. There's a, it's not a narrow term of relationships. It also means romantic, you know, your significant other, whom you're married to, your fiance, whatever the case may be here, you know, but we're talking a bigger scope of relationships when, we're, when we say it in this course. So I give both the stages of escalation. So this is the stages of building a relationship. Now, sadly, some relationships don't last. And again, that's more than just romantic. There's friendships that don't last. There's you know, family relationships, call it working colleague relationships that just, they don't last or they, they don't stay as intense. Let's put it that way. They don't have to completely dissolve, but there may come a point in the relationship that you back off. Well, we're better just as friends or, you know, you realize that maybe you're not as tight or as close to this person as you once were. So maybe they're not in your bestie realm, your ride or die. Maybe they're more so they turn into an acquaintance. It happens, maybe there are family relationships. And I'm not saying this is every relationship. I'm just saying, you know, we have our stages of becoming deeper, becoming closer, building stronger, bigger, tighter, more intense relationships. But there's also steps and stages of de-escalation, of no longer being intense or as in, into it, for lack of a better word in this situation. Anyway, so the five stages of escalation is there's pre-interaction awareness, initiation, exploration, intensification, and intimacy. And all these are discussed in depth in the lessons in the module. So check those out. Then the five stages of de-escalation is turmoil slash stagnation, de-intensification, individualization, separation, and post-interaction. All right, so let's get into the assignment itself. So I want you to choose to break down a relationship. What do I mean? All right, choose a couple. This couple, this couple can come from a television series a film series, a book series, literature, which is books, comics. Um, you can also choose celebrity couples. So this can be celebrity romantic couples or celebrity friend couples or historical couples. This is where it gets fun and I'll go into that in a second. So before I go into detail about the couples, 
that you choose. Again, relationships are not just romantic. It can be friends, family, colleagues, whatever the case may be here. Pick a couple and you're either to choose, you're either going to break down the stages of escalation or de-escalation in that couple. You don't have to go over both, just choose one. And when I say go over, you don't have to do an in-depth. Like I don't need a token-esque length, a breakdown of each. You know, it can be anywhere from a few, a few sentences to a paragraph each of the breakdown. So, and again, the stages are provided for you in the document with the assignment as well. Now, again, choose escalation or de-escalation. And you can choose from a television series, a film, a book series, a celebrity couple. And when I say celebrity couple, it can be romantic or there's like friend, like really close friends. Or you can choose one historically. Now, you can also have fun with this. What do I say? So let's use the his historical couple. You're not going to know the details of it, and it can be also a rumored couple. What do I mean? I'm getting ready to put that in detail. You're not going to know all the details of historical couples or rumored couples. So, so let's say you want to use Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. All right. You, we don't know everything that happened in that relationship. We just knew there was a couple involved. It was a couple. All right, so if you want to choose escalation or de-escalation, you can have fun and whimsy with it. Put your spin or your perspective, because we're not historians. We weren't there. You may be a historian or you may be a historic enthusiast, a history enthusiast, but you can put your spin on it. You can have fun here. We're just breaking down either the escalation or de-escalation. So maybe you want to talk about, you know, how... Cleopat the the awareness of Cleopatra and Mark Anthony had to each other. Perhaps you create a scenario that they see each other like, oh hey, you're who I want. And the initiation. Who you know, who came forward first? Was Cleopatra coy or was she the you know, the image we have of this strong queen who goes in and takes what she wants and she initiates the relationship, or does she play it was she cal like calculating? Did she play it like, oh, as a demure soul, but in reality, she is the forefront. You know, and their exploration, how they build it, how the relationship intensifies, what happens, and just escalates the intimacy. Like, do they connect really deeply? All right. And when I say rumored couples, Marilyn Monroe and JFK. Maybe you want to talk about their escalation into the relationship or the de-escalation what happened you know there's conspiracy theories that surround Marilyn Monroe's death that the Kennedys had something to do with it and that could be put into the de-escalation we are not here we're not historians we're not doing a historically accurate paper but I'm just giving you examples so like I said you can have fun with this and you can put a spin on it other couples so it doesn't have to be just like real human beings. I say that because if you think of Marge and Homer Simpson, you can discuss their relationship, how it came to be, or maybe you want to discuss one of the many fights that they had on the show, or Linda and Bob Belcher from Bob's Burgers. And again, you can choose friendships. The show friends, their interactions. It could just be, you know, Monica and Phoebe, or ross and rachel or rachel and monica or joey and phoebe or joey and chandler you know you can choose the romantic side or the friendship side you know just discuss the beginnings of the relationship and you can put your own spin on it it doesn't have to be historically accurate or you know you can have your own opinion on it have fun with this um their rom-coms are a great place to find couples you know, friendship or romantic couples that you can use in your your world here. Um, again, so recap that real quick. You choose a couple, any couple.
friendship couple, colleague couple. Um, there's a lot of films or TV shows about relationships in the workplace. There's The Office, um, Rex, and we, I haven't watched that one, but. Um, oh, big, what is that store with me? That show with Anyway, there are quite a few shows that just, you know, it's about the relationships in the workplace. There's films about that too. Um, like Waiting, that Ryan Reynolds film from many moons ago. Um, office place? No, anyway. See now, my brain, I'm loading. I was buffering for a moment. Anyway, any couple you want. Uh, romantic, friendship, work colleague, or family one. There's a lot of families, you know, think of uh, yeah, or sibling relationships, you know, have fun with it. I give you the five stages of escalation and de-escalation so you can choose. And when I say de-escalation, it doesn't have to be a complete break. It could just be, you know, perhaps a film or a series that you watch. There's a huge fight. That could be part of the de-escalation. You just discuss how that fight came to be how the argument came to be, you know. It could be over something or someone or there's some that um, literature and stuff, you know. Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, all that falls under with literature couples. Uh, old horror films, Hello, Bride of Frankenstein. So you can discuss the relationship of Frankenstein's monster and the bride that was made for him. Uh, Dracula and Mina, Lucy. Or Harker and Mina. No, watch, I can keep going. The Brandon Fraser mummy films with Imhotep and Anox on a Moon. You can discuss their relationship. Escalation and de-escalation. You know, you got a couple films to choose from there. You can choose the relationship that was portrayed in the first film. Or maybe the de-escalation that happens in the second film. Spoiler alert. She runs. <laughs> All that falls under that as well, but you have options. Um, television shows, comic books, I say comic books, you know, Harley Quinn and the Joker are both TV and film and comics and animated series. You got all kinds of options here, so you can choose from any of those. Um, Archie comics, so Archie and Betty, Archie and Veronica. And then there's also, what is it, Riverdale? That is the show that's based off the of comics. I haven't really watched Riverdale, so if you're a big fan, you can probably get into it way more than what I what I could or know. Um, so all that falls under. Um, historical relation, like historical uh, figures or couples as well, or rumored couples. So yeah, have fun with it. Again, it doesn't have to be a precise, detailed, historical, accurate representation. I just want you to have fun choosing your couple and then discussing either how they came to, like, the evolution of the relationship or the evolution of the either demise of the relationship or a, you know, a fight. I say that with siblings and stuff like that. And, or going from besties to, you know, acquaintances, this or that. Anyway, folks, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I hope you have a great week. Thanks so much. Bye.